Your news starts now with this special Pit Trail Nation report. Hey, what's up, guys? Drew Amman outside of TD Ameritrade Park, Omaha, Nebraska, side of the College World Series, and a heartbreaker here today for the Arkansas Razorbacks. They fall 5-4 to Texas Tech, a team out of the Big 12. Let's go right to the highlights from this one. Connor Nolan out of Greenwood, Arkansas, the freshman. He is an all-SEC freshman selection. In the second inning, Arkansas would get going, but you know what? Prior to that, Connor had a pretty good first frame against Easton Morrell when he struck him out. Morrell's a former hog. Nolan did have two strikeouts in this game. Now let's talk about the second because Arkansas came up big in that one in terms of some offense. Heston Kerstad with that home run to left. He would launch that one the opposite way for home run number 17 on the season. That leads the Razorbacks. We go to the third now, and the Razorbacks get hot again, this time with two outs, a big hit from Casey Martin. This one would land in left, and the left fielder lays out for it. It goes all the way to the wall. It turns into an RBI triple for Casey Martin, the man on a low note. That's triple number four on the season for Casey. That would make it 2 nothing Razorbacks. Arkansas would then go ahead 3 nothing thanks to next batter Matt Goodhart with an infield RBI single. So Arkansas with a nice cushion, but would it hold up? Well, in the fourth, big hitting from Texas Tech. Cameron Warren with a two-run shot, and that would make it 3-2. Connor Nolan... He's certainly given up a lot of dingers this season for the Razorbacks. Again, he would last four innings today. A little bit later, Easton Morrell had a home run to tie this game at three. But then in the sixth, it was Josh Young. He was selected eighth overall in the Major League Draft by the Texas Rangers. He would give Tech the lead, 4-3, solo shot the other way. As far as Arkansas goes, they got it going in the eighth. Jack Kenley, the junior, fouled off five straight pitches and then a sack fly. He hits it to left. And Dominic Fletcher comes in to score. That would tie it at four. But Tech comes up big, bottom eight with two outs. It was Cody Masters with an RBI triple off of Cody Scroggins. So Tech would lead it 5-4. Would it hold up? We go to the ninth. Arkansas gets first and second. Nobody out. But they decide not to bunt. Trevor Ezell pops up for the first out. Casey Martin strikes out for the second out. And then Matt Goodhart goes to left with a fly ball, and Texas Tech clinches it. Texas Tech survives, living to fight another day here in Omaha, Nebraska, as Arkansas is now going home. The record at 46-20 and 20 on the season. Dave Van Horn leading the Razorbacks to the 10th appearance in the College World Series all-time. Sixth under DVH, but again, Arkansas two and out here in the CWS, just like the Razorbacks did in 2015 when they lost that season to Virginia in round one and Miami in round two. Of course, we'll have much more as far as post-game reaction. It's ongoing right now. Alyssa Orange out here, Tara Talmadge from the Picture Trail Nation as well. Mike Irwin is back in the studio. We will hear from Mike in terms of a breakdown, particularly in the ninth inning where Arkansas, as I mentioned, decided not to bunt with first and second. Nobody out, down one run. The final 5-4 Texas Tech. The season is over for the Arkansas Razorbacks. News and weather is on the way. Now, your forecast first from your Northwest Arkansas Weather Authority, sponsored by Crane Automotive Team. Thanks a lot, Drew. Very fitting that we have some dark gray clouds that are over Fayetteville, Arkansas. And you can see from Kessler Mountain, some of these clouds, too, producing some shower activity. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s this Monday afternoon, lower 80s in Fort Smith. We had a few stray showers pop up. We do have this low pressure system that remains over our area, but we're right on the western edge of this low. Now, we do get a break in the rain as we head throughout most of our Tuesday, but by late Tuesday night, perhaps just a little bit before midnight, the chance of a few showers and storms. And then the storm chances actually crank up as we move into Wednesday quite a bit. So look at your 12-hour forecast timeline. Again, a stray shower, not out of the question during the overnight hours. A lot of that will dissipate. We'll take a look at the forecast, which includes storm chances for the middle of the work week. Will that continue the rest of the work week? More coming up as your news continues right now. Proudly covering the Northwest Arkansas community. This is KNWA News at 5. It's not the postseason Arkansas fans hoped for. The Diamond Hogs losing to Texas Tech in their second game of the College World Series. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jennifer Pignate. KNWA's Andrew Epperson is live at Grubbs where fans watch the heartbreaking loss. Andrew. Yeah, Jennifer, as you can see, there aren't a lot of people here now. That's because it was kind of like a mass exodus whenever the Pigs lost there at the end. Things were looking pretty good as we got toward the end of the game. The Razorbacks tied it at four. Things were looking up. 
But then by the end of the ninth inning, Matt Goodhart flew out to end the season. Razorback fans understandably weren't too thrilled, but they were happy to see the Razorbacks advance so far, and they think the Hogs might be back next year. I was thinking about last year and how last year was a lot worse this year, but it's still upsetting to see the Razorbacks lose. Uh, and especially on a call like that with the balls like a foot out from the whole strike zone. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't know how that can happen. But, I mean, it's, it, is, it is what it is. We'll be here next year. You know, that's how it is. So as you can hear there, they're not too thrilled with the umpires. Of course, it's always kind of a sting whenever the Razorbacks end any season. But this time with baseball, you expect them to go a little further. Good thing is they'll be back again stronger than ever next year. Live from Grubbs, Andrew Epperson, KWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Yeah, very tough loss there, Andrew. Thank you. Around Arkansas now, today marks the first court appearance of the woman charged with capital murder in connection to the death of former state senator Linda Collins Smith. 48 year old Rebecca O'Donnell was arrested Friday as a suspect in the case. She made her first appearance in court today in Northeast Arkansas. A judge found probable cause to charge O'Donnell with capital murder. She's also being held on other charges that include abuse of a corpse and tampering of evidence. She's currently being held without bond. The Arkansas Department of Transportation is turning to voters for statewide road improvements. RDOT is proposing 31 projects over the next 10 years, including several in northwest Arkansas. Voters across the state will be asked in November to make a half percent sales tax permanent. Highway officials are expecting it to raise $205 million a year. Voters approved a 10-year half percent sales tax in 2012 for the Connecting Arkansas program, which was used to widen Interstate 49 from Bentonville to Fayetteville. If approved, the sales tax would fund several projects in northwest Arkansas, including an access road to XNA, improvements to Arkansas 112 between Bentonville and Fayetteville, and work on Interstate 612. Bella Vista police need your help finding a missing teen. 15-year-old Hillary Alsip, who you see there on your screen, was last seen yesterday around 5 p.m. on Abingdon Lane in Bella Vista. According to police, she may be with 34-year-old Derek Cobbler. The two are believed to be traveling in a dark blue Mercedes. Alsip is 5'1", weighs 116 pounds, and has brown hair and brown eyes. If you have any information, contact Bella Vista police. KNWA and our sister station, Fox 24, participated in Nextstar's Founders Day of Caring. This year, we volunteered at Live Source International, helping in its food and clothing pantry. We organized donations and did outside work, including upkeeping of facilities. Live Source meets the immediate needs of families by covering the basics food, clothing, and toiletries. They also host an eight-week summer day camp for kids. Director Jimmy Conduff talks about the impact it has on the community. A lot of these kids would be home alone if they weren't here. Also, uh, our neighbors, that their, their kids that are here, uh, would be struggling to come up with the breakfast and lunch and the snacks that they would need at home. Life Source also has a food pantry that is open every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning from 8.30 till 11.30. Driving on Interstate 49 overnight could get a bit tricky. Alternating road closures on Interstate 49 will take place between New Hope Road, Exit 83, and Walton Boulevard, which is Exit 85. This will happen overnight from 8 until 6 in the morning through Wednesday. Crews will also close the northbound and southbound inside lanes of I-49 between Highway 62 and Central Avenue for asphalt work Tuesday and Wednesday. That's from 9 p.m. until 6 a.m. AM. Happening in Northwest Arkansas, you're never fully dressed without a smile, and maybe the sun will come out today for Annie auditions. The Arkansas Public Theater will hold auditions for Annie at the Historic Victory Theater in Rogers. Doors open at 6.30. Auditions will be based on reading script, singing, and a dance combination. How fun. All new at 5, in honor of National Mascot Day, a new face will represent the natural state to keep it clean. The Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission unveiled their new mascot, Otto the Otter. Otto will educate young Arkansans about recycling, the impact of littering, and the beautification of the natural state. He is a native river otter. Over the last year, a cartoon version of Otto has been featured across the state on billboards, bumper stickers, and activity books for kids.
LPGA is just one week away, and there is one food festival that you don't want to miss. How to get tickets to taste some of the best food here in Northwest Arkansas. But first, Dan. Now, the weather not too bad over the weekend. Had some rain on Father's Day, especially after the sun went down in the evening. We do have more storm chances ahead. You see a severe weather risk on Tuesday off to our west. And then on Wednesday, that shifts over our area. We'll have the future radar and the timing of the storms coming up after the break. You're watching KNWA News at 5 with Jennifer Penate and Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. Closed captioning is sponsored by Air Control. The Pig Trail Nation in Omaha. Coverage is brought to you by these sponsors. Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Cunningham with Creekside Center for Women. We're always trying to improve access to women's health care in Northwest Arkansas. So we're proud to announce that we're beginning our evening hours on Monday through Thursday. Come see us. Six-function multi-pro tailgate, available only on the next-generation GMC Sierra. During GMC's Truck Month, get 0% financing on most GMC Sierra and Canyon models. Or get over 8500 total value on this next-generation Sierra SLT. GMC, Truck Month like a pro. Brock here in our new 50,000 square foot Sam's Furniture Clearance Center. If you're looking for low prices on quality furniture, you gotta check this place out. Sofas starting at $294. Five piece dining sets, only $188. All wood seven piece bedroom sets from $799. Even brand name queen pillow top mattress sets starting at just $299. It's our Sam's Furniture Clearance Center just next door to the Superstore in Springdale, Arkansas's largest furniture destination. Get it at Sam's. In Branson, we believe acting your age is totally overrated. We believe in hitting the high notes, the low notes, and all the notes in between. We believe that bucket lists were meant to be emptied and your glass completely filled. Branson, you won't believe it until you do. ExploreBranson.com Osteoporosis is a disease process of losing bone most commonly brought on after the age of menopause with the lack of hormones. Come see us at Creekside. We'll do a bone density scan and check the status of your bones. Tuesday on KNWA Today, Walmart is giving small businesses and entrepreneurs across the country the chance of a lifetime. Plus, find out how you can help improve cancer care in Northwest Arkansas. Looks like a warm Tuesday. We'll look at that, plus your morning traffic. We'll see you Tuesday morning. Now, your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. Let's start off with a time lapse here from Mount Sequoia. This low pressure system moved right over our area that provided occasional some showers and even a rumble of thunder or two. Not a whole lot of activity, but uh, very fitting. I know all the heartbreak hogs ha happening across uh, northwest Arkansas and the River Valley and Arkansas fans all over the country kind of mourning the two and out uh, losses at the uh, College World Series. But let's focus on the good. The positive is that the weather is going to be nice by the end of the work week. We still have some storm chances. Even most of the day tomorrow looks pretty good. But we still have those showers that are out there right now. As we look at our live Doppler radar, 511 in the afternoon, you can see some pop-up showers in Newton County, Boone County, as well as Carroll County. Father's Day wasn't too bad. Yesterday, a lot of sunshine, but then occasional a little isolated shower storm. And then last night, a lot of of heavy rain falling across southwest Missouri. Currently have a few showers that are popping up right along the I-49 corridor. This is because of a very slow moving low pressure system. This is the one that was supposed to move over our area over the weekend, but it kind of stalled out. It got sheared apart a little bit and that prevented uh, the heavy rain potential during the day on Sunday. So there you see those showers that are popping up, a little bit of isolated shower activity. Now watch as I put this into motion. You can see the counterclockwise spin. You can also see how the low is starting to drift northeast so very slow moving showers especially on the west side of this low we've got north to south flow and then east of the low you got south to north flow so there's that counterclockwise spin and therefore throughout the rest of the afternoon in even into the early evening we could see some showers and perhaps a thunderstorm then this low once it moves out we get a break in the action in fact we're going to be quiet 
throughout most of the day, if not all day on Tuesday. But then we've got more storms developing off to our west Tuesday afternoon into the evening. Those will be moving into our area as we head closer to midnight tomorrow night. Flash flood watch in southwest Missouri goes until 1 o'clock in the morning. So that's going to expire here pretty soon as these slow moving showers and that low starts to move on out. There's the upper level low. There's the spin. You can see how it's getting pushed out. Here comes the next one. Strong storm system that's developing. Look at all the showers and storms developing east and northeast of that low. As that low tracks to the east, it's going to bring severe weather potential. Now, tonight we have non severe thunderstorms uh, throughout the overnight hours into the morning. Tomorrow, we're quiet almost all day until late Tuesday night and into early Wednesday. We got this complex of storms. And then Wednesday morning into the afternoon, possibly some storm development, especially in central Arkansas. Let me show you what I mean here. Here's Tuesday night. Everything's kind of quiet until these storms start rolling in during the overnight hours Wednesday. So this is early Wednesday morning. So that means pretty quiet throughout most of our uh, Tuesday, if not all of it. And then here's a look at the future track, and we'll show you those showers and storms popping up across the area. Temperatures remaining in the mid-70s. I'll give you another look at this here as we look at the future track, a little bit more zoomed in. 5 o'clock, there's the isolated showers popping up. Now you can see how the low moves out, and the showers will dissipate with a loss of daytime heating. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s, and then mid-80s during the afternoon tomorrow with a lack of rain and thunderstorms and then more thunderstorm potential starts to develop late Tuesday night and into early Wednesday so that's going to bring those storm chances into the area as you'll see here on the seven day we're looking at temperatures in the lower to middle 80s mid 80s and we do have those rain chances not until late tomorrow night so all of day of Tuesday looks good and Wednesday looks okay in the afternoon but then we could see redevelopment Wednesday night Thursday looks quiet, Friday looks good, and then we've got more rain coming. But honestly, we've got the timing late Saturday night into early Sunday. So most of the day Saturday at this point does look good. You know, things can change. Just like Father's Day mm -hmm. really wasn't all that rainy. Our family went to Branson, and we were kind of anticipating a lot of mm -hmm. rain and storms. And there were in spots, but not everywhere. And yeah, so it didn't ruin it the was day. Nice. No, it didn't. Yeah. It was good. All right, Dan, thanks so much. You're welcome. The Northwest Arkansas Championship is just one week away, and more food and fun will be added to the annual tournament this time around. Bite on Site is an extension of the Bite NWA Festival. It's being held on Saturday, June 29th at 8th Street Market in Bentonville. It will feature 15 local restaurants like Big Fred's Hickory Inn and Southern Food Company. Annie DeGrand, tournament director, says it will be a special experience bringing two events. There are quite a few local restaurants, including Big Orange, Local Lime, uh, Medici, all coming out and offering some signature bites that you won't be able to find at the other Bite Northwest Arkansas, so it'll be very unique. Tickets for the tournament and festival are on sale now. You can find a link to get tickets on our website, nwahomepage.com. If you're still looking for summer activities for the kids, a hike might be a good idea. One local organization is making sure you know what to do to keep your family safe on the trails. That's coming up next. Park Hill Clinic, specializing in total health care for women for over 50 years. Get your summer savings at McCarty Daniel Buick GMC. Kick off your summer in a new Buick or GMC from McCarty Daniel. Right now, save up to $12,000 off new 2019 Sierras or Yukon Denali's. Your choice. Start your deal at BentonvilleBuickGMC.com. Hey! Are you ready for some fun? Woo! It's time for a summer adventure at Whitewater. Whitewater! One of America's top five water parks. Take a heart-pounding slide or go with the flow. Whitewater has over 13 acres of family-friendly thrills. And kids are just $25. There's Kalani and Kapow, Aloha River, Coconut Cove, and a whole lot more. So what are you waiting for? It's the best place to cool off in France. Find out more at SilverDollarCity.com. We offer uh, we offer discounts to police, firefighters, first responders, military, and uh, we also provide them to the uh, most important people in the world, which is our uh, senior citizens. Air of the Ozarks. Better air, better service, just better. Did you find everything all right today? I did. Thank you. When you get the new and rewards card from Come and Go, you'll discover how fast the rewards add up. It's the easy way to earn points on the things you buy so you can get more of what you love. More free food, more free drinks, and more fuel discounts. 
the more you use your Come and Go and Rewards card, the more you get. Stop in to get your card or download the app and start rewarding yourself with more today. Come and Go, where and means more. Make it count every second, every minute, every hour. Make it count every rep, every hit, every run. Make it count every victory, every defeat, every lesson. Make it all count. And when it's time to rest, well, make it count. Because tomorrow, you do it all again. The Athlete's Choice Collection with BeFit Technology, exclusively at Denver Mattress. Get your summer savings at McCarty Daniel Buick GMC. Start your summer road trip in style with a new Buick or GMC from McCarty Daniel. Save up to $9,000 off 2019 terrains or canyons, your choice. Visit BentonvilleBuickGMC.com. You're watching KNWA News at 5. If you're still trying to find an activity for your child this summer, taking them on a hike may be a pretty good option. One local organization wants to make sure your entire family is safe on the trails. Ozark Adventure and Recreation is hosting a basic survival skills workshop for children. Kids six and older will learn things that will keep them safe on the trails, like how to build a shelter and make a fire. Organization founder Corey Burbage says you'll more than likely never need to use it, but it's still good information to have. If you know these skills, you can help someone or uh, someone can help you because you'll know the information and you can lead them and guide them with what to do. The workshop is open to kids ages 6 and older at Lake Fayetteville. That's tomorrow. Tickets are $10 and you can visit our website to get yours. After a sunny day, clouds are rolling into our area when the rain could make a return. Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff joins us with the final look at his forecast when we come back. England Dental. Quality dentistry with compassion and care. Call us today. The Ramirez triplets have always done the same exact thing. Until now. McCafe Mango Pineapple Smoothie, Fanta Orange. McCafe Mocha Frappe. And now enjoy a hot and spicy McChicken with small fries for only $3. A value menu that values your choice. Maintain the love of your new Subaru with two years of complimentary maintenance. Hey, Northwest Arkansas, Joe here with Sam's Furniture, and we want to say thanks for making Sam's Arkansas's largest furniture destination. If you're looking for new furniture, we serve the market with over 170,000 square feet of quality furniture at everyday guaranteed low prices. And with our multi-million dollar in-stock inventory, you can enjoy your purchase today with same-day delivery. With our huge selection, low prices, and family fun atmosphere, it's no surprise why Sam's is one of the fastest-growing furniture stores in Arkansas. So for all your furniture needs, come join the fun. And remember, get it at Sam's. Get 0% financing for 72 months, plus 2500 in total savings on a 2019 F-150. Only at your local Ford dealer. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I went straight to CTCA. After my mastectomy, I felt like part of my identity was being taken away. My team made me feel whole again. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Appointments available now. Now, your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. Do you have our NWA Weather Authority app? If you don't, it told me that there's rain literally falling right now outside of Fayetteville, about four miles away. So if we take a look at live Doppler radar, there's the rain that's popping up northeast of Rogers on the northeast side of Rogers, very close to Carter Field. And then you've got a few little isolated showers popping up as well. One that's just north of the wagon wheel exit near Lowell and Bethel Heights. Then you got some rain that's on the east side of Springdale. You got more rain close to the hospital and the uh, the. 
Fayetteville Mall as well. And then you've got showers that are popping up near Fayetteville and Greenland. Now, if we look at this in the future track, you'll notice we put it into motion and the showers will dissipate as that low pushes off to the east. We'll get a break in the rain all day on Tuesday, so enjoy that. It will be a little bit on the warm side. And then you'll see these showers and storms popping up overnight tomorrow night. So this is late Wednesday, should I say late Tuesday into Wednesday morning. We've got those rain chances cranking up. So on the seven-day forecast, again, early Wednesday morning, a chance of some strong storms. Redevelopment of storms in the River Valley Wednesday afternoon into early Thursday. We get a break Thursday afternoon. Friday afternoon looks good. And then Jennifer... More storms at this point for our Saturday night into Sunday. All right, Dan, thank you. A Pocahontas woman now charged with capital murder in connection with the death of a former state senator. We have your Just Home headlines next as KNWA News at 5 continues. You first banking at First National Bank with locations in Rogers, Bentonville, Springdale, Johnson, and Fayetteville. Summer starts now at McClarty Daniel Chevrolet. Get this summer's hottest deals on a new Chevy from McClarty Daniel. Hurry in and save big on a new 2019 Tahoe. Get up to $15,000 off MSRP. Start your deal at SpringdaleChevy.com. For 50 years, Cracker Barrel has been cooking homestyle favorites to perfection. We thought we'd celebrate by making our golden anniversary extra golden. Introducing new crispy, juicy southern fried chicken. Now at Cracker Barrel. Want a relaxing pedicure? Relaxing pedicure? My feet get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's for healthy feet. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my feet back. The 2019 Nissan Armada. Intelligence with an attitude. Get a low 349 per month lease on the 2019 Armada. Hanky Brothers came in and did all of this work. They came in, they talked to me, they let me know what they were going to do, and you knew that they knew what they were doing. They got out there and they just went to work on it, and I would sit here and watch them and be amazed at how much they could get done in such a short time. I couldn't have asked for a better crew of people. Oh, if I ever have anything else that needs to be done on my house, I will call Hanky Brothers. Call Hanky Brothers today for a free, no obligation estimate. This summer, get your truck your way in McCarty Daniel Chevrolet. Right now, take 25% off select remaining 2018 Silverados or get 0% financing for 72 months on 2019 Silverados. Start your deal at SpringdaleChevy.com. It's time to get your AC ready for the summer with a tune up from Pascal. You're watching KNWA News at 5. Welcome back. In case you're just walking in the door, here's a look at today's Just Home headlines. Today marks the first court appearance for the woman charged with capital murder in connection to the death of former state senator Linda Collins Smith. 48 year old Rebecca O'Donnell was arrested Friday as the suspect in the case. She made her first appearance in court today in Northeast Arkansas. A judge found probable cause to charge O'Donnell with capital murder. She is also being held on other charges that include abuse of a corpse and tampering of evidence. She's currently being held without bond. KNWA and our sister station Fox 24 participated in Next Star's Founders Day of Caring. This year we volunteered at Life Source International, helping in its food and clothing pantry. We organized donations and did outside work, including upkeeping of facilities. Life Source meets the immediate needs of families by covering the basics. That means food, clothing, and toiletries. It provides groceries and clothing to more than 1,200 families. That's each month. The Northwest Arkansas Championship is just one week away. Can you believe it? And more fun and food will be added to that annual tournament this time around. Bite on Side is an extension of the Bite NWA Festival. The NWA Festival is being held on Saturday, June 29th at 8th Street Market in Bentonville. It will feature 15 local restaurants like Big Fred's Hickory Inn and Southern Food Company. Tickets for the tournament and festival are on sale. You can find a link to get yours right now on our website. Website. That's nwahomepage.com. You can see more on these stories tonight in our 6 p.m. broadcast or head to the KNWA News app right now for the most up-to-date information. You can download our app for free in the App Store 
or on Google Play. One last look at weather, Dan. Another few rainy days coming our way. All that food video making me hungry. Right. <laughs> a lot of the bite NWA. Such a great festival, yeah. too. To answer your question, we do have rain chances that are coming. Uh, it's not going to be tomorrow, though, until late tomorrow night. So we're talking after sundown. So kids can enjoy a great day at the water park or at the pool. Beautiful weather for that. We do have storm chances, though, cranking up early Wednesday morning. Additional storms possible farther southeast on Wednesday afternoon. And we get a break Thursday and Friday again, so there will be breaks. Yes. Yeah. Good deal. All right, Dan, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here at 6. Good night.